Hey everyone and welcome back to Daily Tuition. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about CSS where pseudo selector. We are going to look at how we can use this where pseudo selector in the CSS and how this function is useful when working with CSS. In CSS, where function takes in a list of selectors as arguments and minifies them, allowing you to write less code and at the same time style them all together. Where is a CSS functional pseudo class selector that takes in a list of selector as an argument and applies the given style to any element from that list. Where is a very useful for making a long selector list shorter. To understand this pseudo selector, we need to understand what problem it can solve. So let's suppose that in your index.html you have a paragraph with button. And in that button you have a simple demo text. So if I add here button and just after that, right down here, you're also going to have the main element and the footer element. And inside both these elements, you're going to have your button. So if you try to save this file, then I'm going to get three buttons inside my browser. Now what I want, I want to pass hover effect to all these buttons. If you are a beginner, then you probably write a code something like this. You select the paragraph, then select the button and add hover effect on it. Then you select the main element, select the button and again add the hover effect. And then you select the footer, select the button and add hover effect. And then you specify your styling. So let's suppose if I specify here color white and then I'm going to specify the background color. When I save the changes, you can see I'm going to have this hover effect to all these buttons. You can notice to select all these three buttons, we have to add here three selectors. What if we have more than three selectors inside your index.html? The code will begin to look untidy and may become difficult to read and understand. This is where the where pseudo selector function comes into play. What you have to do is write down here, I'm going to say colon and then call this where pseudo class or you can say pseudo function. And then inside this, inside this function parenthesis, we pass the paragraph, pass here comma, select the main and select the footer. So this statement is going to select all these three elements. And what we have to do is we have to select buttons of all these selectors. So we add here a button and add hover effect on it. So we call here hover. And then I'm going to specify the styling right down here. So if I get rid of this statement or command this, save the changes, you can see I'm going to have the same styling to all these buttons, but with only one line of CSS selector. This where pseudo selector, or you can say this where function, can group elements in several ways and combinations. Now, suppose that you have this button inside a parent element. So if you back to the index.html, and if I get rid of both these elements right from here, create here two divs. First is dark and second is light. And I'm also going to add here another div without a class. So now if I grab this paragraph and put that inside all this div, something like this, you can see if I back to the styles, when I hover on these buttons, I have this hover effect to all my buttons. I only want to add this button hover effect to the dark and to this light div. What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to first select here dot dark, then select my paragraph and add a hover effect, right? And I'm going to do the same for the light as well. So if I duplicate this, specify that here. And if I say here light, save the changes. And when I hover on this last button, I don't have the hover effect here. But if I hover on this dark and light button, I'm going to have this hover effect. But you can also simplify this statement with where function. Let me show you how. What we are going to do is we're going to get rid of this dark class right from here and add another where function here, something like this. And inside this, you can specify your classes. So I'm going to specify here dark and light. Let me get rid of this, save the changes. And you can see I'm going to have the same result. So this where is going to select both these classes and from both these classes i'm going to select the paragraph and select the buttons so this will just save many lines of css code and makes it easier to select elements using where cause css is generally considered to be non-forgiving with regard to selector list if a browser does not recognize just a one selector in a list the entire list of the selector will be considered invalid and their styling will not be applied but this is not the case with where pseudo function. If the element in this where function is targeted 
with the invalid selector that element will not get any styling and the rest of the element will still get style so if let's suppose we specify here dark save the changes and now you can see we don't have this dark class inside my index.html and now if i hover on these buttons you can see i'm still going to have my styling to my light class so i hope you understand how to use where pseudo selector function inside the css if you find anything useful make sure to press the like button share this video with your friends subscribe for more latest videos that is all for now i will see you in the next one